Hey, stay with me now. I've got the five P's to make you phenomenal on the phone, a phone phenom, and I'm going to give them to you right now. The first one is to prepare. The majority of insurance agents do not prepare before they jump on the phone. Here's what I mean. You have to prepare your mindset. You're going to be mentally ready and focused and confident. Hey, you got to have a little swag. You've got to be super confident when you jump on the phone, you're not going to have success. Okay, you also, not only mentally, you have to prepare yourself, but uh, your energy level. You have to prepare your own personal energy level. When you guys have seen my live dials in Jamaica, live cold calling sessions, live dialing leads, appointment sessions, all those kind of things, I've always prepared my energy level by doing jumping jacks, push-ups, uh, running around the office. Like I've got my energy up. I'm telling you, words will flow out better and you will have more success at communicating on the fly with people if your energy is really high. Trust me on that super freaking success hack at working the phone and it telling you it works. Also, you got to prepare a script, an outline. Like if you don't have a script, 92% of insurance agents fail in the first three years. And it's majority is they don't know what they're doing when they actually get on the phone and then they struggle on the phone and they wonder why. Okay, you also need to prepare, you got to prepare a script. You got you to know like where you're going from hello to thanks for your business, welcome to the family. Also, if you're like, dude, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not a script guy, at least have an outline so that you know I got to go here, 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 and here. Bam, right? You got to know where you're going. That's how you prepare so you can have the most success on the phone. First P is prepare, okay? Good. Second P, and as you're taking notes today, make sure that you're adding some of these little sub subtopics as we go because these will guarantee you that you become a phone phenom. The second one is practice. Most people don't practice. You need to be making sure that you are taking time to practice your phone skills. I used to train several new local insurance agents in Springfield, Missouri. Four or five years ago, I had like a little small team and I would have them practice in the mirror and actually role play with themselves in the mirror before they got on the phone. How often do you practice your script? I'm talking practice in the opening of your script, practicing, practicing your tonality, your voice inflection, practicing your responses to objections so you're ready. Like in my office, my, I have two different sales teams. I'm phenomenal at growing and building sales teams. One of my favorite things to do. Okay, if you have a team, let me talk to them. Okay, I promise you. With both of the teams, a couple things that we are doing is we are having them role play twice a day, every single day. We're watching videos, we're training, we're role playing. Why? Because we want to practice our success. We want, be, we want to be prepared for our success. So when we jump on the phones, we're dominating, we're ready, we're having success. I'm telling you, you need to take time to practice every once in a while. The words, how they're coming out, what they're saying, how they sound, right? Objections. You got to be practicing all these things. Practice it with a partner, practice it in the mirror, but you have to practice. Okay, that's the second P. Third P is you have to press play. Here's what I mean. Start recording your calls. You will learn so much by playing, by recording your calls, playing the recording, and then listening back to what you are saying. I can promise you, it will blow you away. You will you will hear habits. Like I was listening to a recording the other day, and there was this female salesperson that said, you know, 63 times in one call in like 17 minutes. That is insane. A lot of us have bad habits and we're not catching them. A lot of us are, are pausing or saying this or always saying, okay, great. After every time somebody says something, like you need to be pressing play, record, and then press play and listen to yourself, okay? if you, When you take time to listen to yourself, it shows that you're more serious about success. Professional athletes, they watch game film. Professional salespeople, they press play and they listen to themselves on the phone. So the third P is freaking press play and start listening to yourself constantly until you get really good you have to be doing this promise me you'll do this okay fourth p is you got to also take time to polish you got to polish what you're doing after you listen go back and polish it make it better how do you improve it how do you take a second and step back and say okay what's some of these little pieces of the puzzle that if i'm like okay this tool sucks and eh, get rid of that right don't need that okay oh th th this is good man i heard i heard cody use this I'm going to write that down and I'm going to use that. I'm going to start to polish up my game so that I get really, really good on the phone. Most of us do not take time to polish. Do you? That's the question. Do you? Let me know in comments below. How serious are you? Do you prepare, practice, press play, and polish, man? You got to take time to polish this thing out, right? You got to add, you got to put some freaking wax on the vehicle every once in a while. You can't just show up because it only takes about a day to get rusty, by the way. And if you don't practice the next, if you don't make calls or practice in today, tomorrow, 
you're rusty. But if you do all these things, you start to add all these things, I promise you, boom, boom, boom. You start to have a lot more success. Everything will start being brighter. You start making more sales, making more money. You have a better chance of actually succeeding and winning in this business. I guarantee you this will help. But you got to stay extremely polished. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. The greats, they take time to, to, to make sure that the minor details are freaking flowing, man. Like they're polished, they're polished, they're polished. Are you polished? How polished are you? Or are you pretty rusty? Okay, that's the fourth P. Fifth is perform. When the lights come on, it's time to perform. I thought I'd throw a fun positive one in there for you guys. You have to be ready to perform, okay? When someone says hello, boom, are you ready? Betty, yeah, this is Betty, this is Cody. Hey, I'm getting back to you about boom, right? What are you saying when the lights come on? Are you performing? Hey, I'm not interested. Betty, I understand. I knew you wouldn't be. It's my job to just get you the information since you responded. Now, I'll be out there Friday. Should I drop this off in the morning or the afternoon? Which is typically better for you? Mornings or afternoons? Boom. Like you have to be ready to perform. When the lights come on, are you ready? When the lights come on, are you performing at optimal frequency on a scale of one to 10, how good are you at performing when you're put on the spot? That's what most people don't think about. When when, when I get on the phone, like there, it's never going to go the same. There's going to be random things that happen. Someone's going to say something I've never heard before. Like I learned several years ago, somebody said, hey, stick it in the mail. And I started, I, I actually came up with something and it worked. So I'm like, boom, I'm going to use that right? Absolutely happy to stick in the mail. Actually, I'll be out in your area tomorrow. Why don't I just drop it off? It's like mailing it, but I'm going to mail it in person. Is morning or afternoon better for you? Like you have to have responses for all this little stuff, man. Like I'm giving you nuggets of gold. Like we've got a CA cell system, okay? With, with literally 400 plus sales training videos so that you can train every single day. If you don't own that, dude, why the freak not, man? Come on now, right? Because you have to be ready to perform, which means you got to be practicing, preparing, pressing play, polishing, and being ready to perform, right? Well, this is one of the things I'm going to, I'm actually going to Texas for a Texas training tour, okay? And I'm going to Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin, literally this week for four days in a row. If you, if you haven't heard of that, go to CodyAskins.com forward slash tour if you live in Texas and sign up. What we're going to be talking about on that tour is how you can expand in 2021, how you can start to dominate 2021, how you can make 2021 the best year of your life. But if you don't start taking this seriously, right? I mean, I mean, evaluate yourself. How serious were you last year? And how serious are you going to be this year? I'm telling you, I'm taking it a lot more serious than I've ever took this whole thing. Like I'm playing at a whole nother level, a whole nother frequency this year. I'm committing to doing whatever the freak it takes to win. Now, the question is, are you?